It's just you, me, the cat, several boxes, session with my squad. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Britt, creator of The Style Shaker, your guide to green and clean beauty. And I am back today with an unboxing video. So I'm gonna unbox some stuff that I got and I'm gonna try some of it, give you some first impressions and just like, Let's just talk. Let's talk about what's coming up. Everything I try here will be coming up either in a scorecard post, in a dedicated review video, get ready with me video, or like somewhere within my universe. So now you know. If you want to see what's inside all these boxes that my cat is currently eating, then yeah, stick around. Here we go. Heads up if you're going from toxic to non toxic and have no clue where to start. Check out my free green beauty guide back on the website. It's the one pager I wish I had when I first started out. In the meantime, don't forget to like this video and make sure you subscribe so you never miss another one. First and foremost, I got a box from the owner. She's kind of great. She's kind of great. Of Love J Beauty and her name is Blair and she's amazing. And um, they're based in Austin, it's like the safe haven for clean beauty. She has all kinds of different workshops in there. She's just doing amazing things. I'm all about it. And I was able to buy some products from her at Love J and I'm gonna tell you what I bought because as you can tell, it's a lot of fake clothes. So I will have a promo code for you guys as well. Link below for that. You can get some percentages off. I have the Fit Glow Beauty Eye Bright. So this is a corrector. <laughs> Why did I just find out about correctors? Blair. Thanks, Blair. Love you. Mean it. I wouldn't have known. I really don't. I didn't. I didn't know. So yeah, I got this corrector and you put it on under concealer, but like a weirdo, I'm just going to try it on over. Have you guys tried this yet? Do as I do. Do as I say, not as I do. What? Do I do this? I don't know. Texture is really, really nice. I'm very excited about this because I just like looking awake and alive when maybe sometimes I'm not, even though I'm working on that part. I'll let you know how that goes. I feel like I have to test it on bare skin. But in the meantime, I did receive a Fit Glow Beauty palette. It is not the day palette. She was sold out of the day palette. I was gonna try it because one of y'all recommended that I give it a try. This is the night palette. Ooh, oh, pretty nice, yeah? So overall, this has one, two, three, four, five, six. I can count nine, Fizz, Aspen, Oak, Rolo. Rolo? Mmm, candy. Beauty elevated with skin transforming ingredients. Yada, yada, yada. This looks amazing. Um. Oh, whoa, holy crap. Do you guys see that? Wow, ugh. I'm just gonna try some, what? Whoa, wow. This is like, sorry, I'm having a lot of emotional reactions, but this is a very highly pigmented shadow. I just put it at my brow bone. Don't recommend that. However, when you put it where it's supposed to go, wow, this is gonna be fun. I think I will, thank you. I have a little blush on, so I'm gonna start looking real rosy. Yeah, okay, that's very pink. <laughs> I overdid it. Overdid it for me. I know for some of you, you're like, that was nothing. I'm very excited to try this palette out. Has anybody else tried this palette out? What do you think? Also, I just love the palette. It looks very cool. That's all I have to say about that. Oh, okay. The 14E Cosmetics. This is the Cheek and Lip in Sunset. A lot of people have asked me for my favorite blush options and specifically cream blushes. Um, oh boy. I feel like this is all gonna come out at once. Maybe I need to open it? I should just be like, cut to an hour later. Why is this not coming out? No. Moving on. That's not working. I will call Blair and see what's up. Anyway, that was fun. At the end of it, I'm like super excited about the corrector and the palette, and thank you so much for the sample. Check out Love J Beauty, she's kind of doing amazing things in Austin. Yay, next box. The next box is from Penny Bore. The last month's box, I was like, but I love them, usually. So, I'm going into the July 2019 box. It has a smudge-proof anti-aging eyeshadow base. Whoa. If that works, then they just redeemed everything because so many people have eye shadow creasing issues. Wow, full size. Okay, this is a very good step in the right direction. Can't really see, can you? Wow. Okay, I could totally see this actually working. I can't describe necessarily fully the texture, but it just glided on and then mattified itself very quickly. So I could see shadow adhering nicely and then not creasing. 
so we'll see. I don't know, I'll let you guys know. Then we have the French Girl Vitamin C Polishing Wash. Petty Bore Exclusive Launch, this antioxidant rich plant derived powder washes, cleans, brightens, and exfoliates. So I have been looking for a new cleanser because oftentimes, and I said this in a Q&A, they just irritate my skin. So I haven't found one that works. I cannot wait to try that out. Actually, I'm gonna smell it. Oh, it smells really nice. And it's a little bit grainy, so you can tell it. Wow, it's not an overwhelming scent though. Actually, I don't know what I'm smelling. I don't even think that has a scent. Maybe when you wet it, it does. And we have the Ursa Major Bright and Easy Flash Mask. I've tried their masks before. It was moisturizing, so it moisturized. Because now I, I have to really get into these skincare reviews now. But anyway, it is a three minute flash mask, powerful, fast acting enzyme face treatment for clear, vibrant skin, gentle enough for sensitive skin but I will try it. Oh, I love the way it smells though. Almost smells kind of like watermelon. And then finally, after our soothing night cream, pH Balanced Night Cream helps soothe irritated, stressed skin to quickly regain glow and vibrancy. Y'all know I'm all about a night cream. It smells really nice too. Oh, it feels really nice and lightweight. You know, there was a cream I tried back in the day. You try all these creams and you're like, I think it's working. There are creams that I have tried. Wow, it feels really nice. That I've worn at night and woken up the next day and seen visible differences. You guys know, I hope you know. It's a wonderful feeling to have. Those were when I was still using the Toxic Skincare. So I've yet to really find much like that from the green, green clean beauty space. There is the Osea um, hydrating oil and then the Juice Beauty Stem Cell serum that I've really liked and seen visible results, but I need to try more. I need to try more, so I'm excited about that. Overall, for this box, at first glance, I think this is a vast improvement on the previous box that I received for June, and I think there are some items in here that I am going to love. TBD, you guys know I'm gonna let you know either way. The next box, I have a couple more. This is from Floor and B. Have you guys heard of them? Do you know them? They put little bees on their little cards. Ugh. That's freaking cute. Full size of our products. I hope they're a hit. Me too. Skincare, skincare, skincare. <laughs> you guys. Oh my god, that was so generous of them. Okay, so obviously this was gifted. Rejuvenating vitamin C serum that I have recently received. This looks amazing. I have a refreshing rose toner. I think it's classic. Bummer. But you know what? I'll figure that out later when I do the full review. This is class. Yay. Yeah, for vitamin C serum, I know stuff like that. They need to keep shaded. Can't expose it to a lot of light, oxidizes, all the rest of it. Um, then I have a Crema de la Creme Moisturizing Face Cream. I happen to be a huge fan of this packaging. Oh, and they tell you in a little card, it's inside. Vitamin C, aloe, vitamin B3, you're a queen bee if you have any questions. Yeah, girl. Ooh, another glass container. Wow, this is awesome. It's really amazing, wow. Very light scent. Thank you, thank you. Can't stand those perfumey things. Oh, wow. Wow, it really doesn't smell that much and I'm so happy about that. So that's gonna be a fun one to try. After cleansing, massage onto face and neck, morning or night, cruelty free, no toxins, and they donate 1% to charity. Y'all, these guys are based in Pasadena, I forgot that. They're like my California people, so I'm not gonna let that bias my review, I will still be honest, but I like to see it. Next we have the anti-aging eye cream. Good lord, my skin should be looking amazing very soon. <laughs> Squalane, very cool, natural moisturizer, vitamin E and B3 for brightening. Hello. Mm, a little bit of scent, but very limited. And a nice lightweight moisturizer there. You don't want it to be too thick for the eyes or else it could potentially clog pores and just irritate, especially for contact lens wearers like myself. So Florin B, thank you so, so, so much. Have you guys heard of Florin B, my people? Have you tried them? Do you have any favorites? What do I need to know? Tell me. Which one should I try first, actually? The C, moisturizer, the eye cream, the eye cream, or the toner? Uh, you guys tell me. Plant, apothecary. I have heard a lot about them. I saw them on Instagram. I really, I get all my information from Instagram. It's a very cool brand right now. I think they just got into some big stores. So congrats. I have the Calm Down body wash and this is Ginger Lavender and I have another body wash. So I have body washes, which is opportune. Oh, it's plastic though. Mm. Eucalyptus and bergamot, kind of lovely. Doesn't smell very eucalyptus-y. Is that a word? That is intense. That's the ginger. That one's gonna take some getting used to, I think. That would like, this would be morning. Oh, that's so funny. This is for calm down because of the lavender. This is just be well. Okay, 
cool. Used by aromatherapists to help clear stuffy heads and noses and awaken the mind. Glad I read that. Cool. So this is when I need a little bit of a pick me up. And this is for soothing and quieting my stressed out mind and soul. How did you know? How did you know? I was introduced to somebody through a friend of mine from a previous life when I was working in the buying offices at Neiman Marcus and she was like, hey, check this person out. And so I talked to him. He is the founder of this line called Soma Ayurvedic and I received a couple of full size samples from him. The vitamin C serum again. I have the anti-aging cream, which it reminds me so much like I aloe vera and saffron. It smells like real aloe vera. And I was like, why does this remind me of when I was a little kid? Cause my grandmother used to use that. So I was having all these like sensory moments. It was fun. Then I have this giant, this eye gel is huge. It's a cream and it tightens. I've already tried it. It's kind of impressive. These are all based off of Ayurvedic traditions and practices and ingredients. There's a whole story behind it. I was able to chat with him for a bit and he put over a year at least of research into these products. So I'm very, very excited to give these a try. I'm just finishing up my review for the Kahina Giving Beauty Serum. So then I move on to the next and the next and the next because I give these things a little bit of time to work. I feel like skincare, you have to do that. But overall, I have, as you can see, a ton of skincare to work with. So I'm very excited. That's it. Yeah, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for unboxing with me. I always like having you here and let me know what you think about the packages that I just unboxed, especially with the Florin B, which should I try first? Have you tried any of these? Are you a part of the Pettivore community? What did you think of the box? Have you tried anything there yet? Let me know. Keep me posted. You know, I love comments and questions. See you soon. Bye.